Well then, I just realized that my music wasn't on. <laughs> well, it's not my music, but I didn't have the music on. So oh, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and close. All righty then. So we're going to go ahead and get right into Legend of Zelda. I am looking for my little controllers. My Oh, there it is. I hope everyone's day has been going. Has been going very well. I had a busy day today at work. Oh my goodness. But it was fine. Yeah, we were at the village with the cute little houses. Oh my goodness. The cute little brick Lego, Lego style. Lego style houses. I am also drinking Dr. Pepper. Cause you know me, I love Dr. Pepper. Okay, so I need to go see the, over here. Professor. I forgot their names. The director, that, there we go, professor, director, you know. <laughs> so we gotta go to the ancient tech lab. So that's where I'm heading to right now. My horse. Splurg. I want to see these houses. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, there's little heart shapes. I'm gonna go inside. Oh, it looks so much bigger on the outside. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Cute bed. Nice simple house. Very cute. Let's see this one. I can enter it. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's so cute. And it has a door. Oh, it has a patio. I thought this would just be another room up here. Well, yeah, it kind of is like another room. This is so cute. So one house. I see. Ah, I see. And this one, I'm thinking it's going to be the same as the first one that I went into. Yep. Just the fur furnishing is a little different. Oh, so cute. It's a ravine. Oh, hey, dude. Gra. Yeah. Morning. What you doing? The old house here has been abandoned. Everyone in Hateno village agreed we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle to report for service, never came back, never wrote, so away it goes. <laughs> it's like, okay, so yeah, it's been abandoned. The guy never wrote back or anything, so we're gonna knock this place down. Okay, I guess, I guess that's how it goes. <laughs> I could buy it?
Oh, what does it look like inside? I didn't know I could buy it. Well, it's nice. Like the other houses were a lot cuter. <laughs> It has steps that makes it look like... Can't enter? Oh, I guess not. I can't go through there. Even though... I might buy it. Oh, this is the boss! Olsen. What you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough. Not a lot of buyers, you know. So the villagers decided it, it was best to just tear it down. I could buy it! With hardly any rupees. <laughs> well, get a load of a young money bags. Just want to buy it, huh? Don't know why. Okie doo! See, this house been vacant for years, so the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolish cost. Mm, I just saw 5,000, 5, 50,000 rupees. A lot. I only have like... Impossible. Mm -hmm. Just for you, I'll cut you a special price of 3,000 rupees. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles. For the materials. As you understand the terms, then get to it and show me what you're built out of. It's a construction joke. Hudson huh. Carson, stop what you're doing. Oi. Well, looks like I'm gonna get a house. That's a very first thing that happened. Going to happen. But I don't even have 3,000 rupees. Can I pick this up? Pick it up. I'll set on it. Pick it up, Link. Nothing! Went through it. Well, now it's just a little lake or pond. Pond. Cute. Okay. Getting distracted. Let's go on ahead. Wait, I need to find a statue where I can pray. So I can l l bring up my stamina. Lurk. Which way? Whoops! Okay, so I gotta go back down to the main village area. Image is here. Looks a lot farther than it, it was. Apple. Cute village. I love it. Ooh, that guy that says hi. Is there a place? Is there a place where? Any beauties? You mean horses? Mm. If you're lucky enough to stay at the Tompu Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. Hello. Does she even knows who I am. It's tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the at the Tompu Tonpu Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. It's for the girl. I just heard you mumbling to yourself. Alright. 
I'll think about it when I come back. Nice village, I like it. Very cute. Did I go the wrong way? Nope. There are signs, but I'm not reading the sign. blue the furnace is hot do not touch open chat open chashmi open, open chashmi well it's quite messy there's a lot of paperwork here hello this is the hateno ancient tech lab do you have some business with the director the director is in the back. <laughs> Terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Well, there is a library and a bookstore. We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilization here. As for the actual number of books, well, is that the thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? It's not mistaken, it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? It is quite. It is, Sir Simon. Simon. It's Simon. I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'll be most appreciative. Stasis, Magnus, Remote Bomb, and Cryonis. Is something missing? I don't have the basic runes. Simon, you are Link, right? He knows my name. <laughs> Lady Enba. I didn't silence my phone, my bad. <gasps> you forgot to tell me something important. <laughs> director, listen, Miss Director. Hold on a second. He ain't the director. So, Miss Pura. She just went like, yeah, I don't have time to talk to you. Go to... The director, as I am putting quotations in the air. Quote, quote. <laughs> hmm. 
What, she's actually a lot older? Even though she looks like a kid? <laughs> Snippity snap! Um, anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. <laughs> Linky, what's with that look? You, you do, 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 do. do you still remember me? Nope. I'm gonna do the dots. The subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Mm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was success. I documented a full affair in my diary upstairs. And so I should go and read that diary. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Because it is a diary. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. Princess. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I... Uh, I, the one and only Prua, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Sleep. And oh, what do you say to that? <gasps> sure. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. She got that evil villain laugh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. First, I need to run an errand for me. Gotta run an errand for her. What's with that look on your face? Questionable. Questionable. What's that look? Let me see, can I zoom in? Nine. You didn't think I'll fix your Sheikah slate for free, do you? I did not. I'm pretty considerate for a long, young person. But then I suppose that's because you're actually over 100 years old. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know, the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the laboratory. Would you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. They did not want to leave the house today. The sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore our missing runes. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. I gotta go look for some blue flames. Alright, where's my horse? Nope, it's blurred. We are going to go and if I can if I can turn around. Go this way. Oh goodness. There's a shrine way over there. Um. 
my turn. There we go. Where is the flame? Okay, I gotta pass the bridge and it's over. I'm trying to think of a good way. This is almost. Oh no, it's raining! Wow, well, you must get to the safety of your house. Well, oh, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Well, I cannot ride a horse properly. <laughs> There's a frog! This way, this way. It's raining. Wouldn't it go out because it's raining? I knew it! I knew it! Okay, I have to wait until it stops raining. And it's gonna be raining for I don't know how long. Alright, so let's see here. And I do. Do, what is around here? It's raining. Jump and grab the apple. to call the horse. Don't push me in the water. Wait, will this take me all the way? Maybe not. Well, maybe. I don't know. Okay, it's gonna be raining for quite a bit, so I am going to go and look around.
Blurg. It's like once I had gotten that quest, it just started raining. Sir, a dye shop. Oh, Mount Lanaru. Mysterious place and it's engulfed in ice. Well then, there is treasure, no one's getting it. So well, thank you for telling me, and now I have to stay warm. I wasn't expecting it to be gold. Spring of West. Ooh, shri Ooh shrine quest. Gotta go get that shrine. This is moreover there's a room of fantastic treasure hidden in the spring. Thought this would take me, but it's only gonna take me to this guy. Darn. Okay. Uh mount here. Which is probably that. Looks like it, so I'm just gonna door. Okay, okay. And then that's what I need to do next, but it's raining! Goodness! It's not gonna stop raining. Excuse me, horse, don't get stuck. <laughs> I'm like, there's nothing to get stuck there for. And... This way. Turn around. Turn around. That way. Because we don't want Splark to get hit again. I died because I I, ooh, I almost died because I fell. Uh, 
after the next one. to get a better weapon. Actually, I forgot how to... Just take his weapon once you knock him out. That's all it takes is just taking his weapon. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna... The rain is gonna clear up. Good, good. And there's a deer. to get some better weapons. I don't know what is going on with the fact that I have like no weapons at all. the other way. It's this way. There was a shrine this way. this way. A rock. Really, a rock. And to have you stop now. There was a shrine! I swear there was a shrine! Unless it was the one at the... Unless it was the one in the village? Oh, it was probably the one in the village. to show up and join the party. Let's see what we have here. Ember. Nice. Oh, what?
Okay, so all of the monsters that I have killed are back. Well, that's not nice. Not nice at all. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Okay, it's going to be morning soon. And it's going to be sunny and that's when I can take the blue light. The blue flame. She doesn't start running until I'm like right behind her. I'm going to catch up to her. Yeah, I'm going to catch up to you. I'm going to catch up to you. I'm going to catch up to you. Yay, horse buddies. follow follow and now she's going back down okay oh i wanted to run over the goat you're trying to be that horse <laughs> hi pitchfork how's it going e same question here it's going good it's been a busy day at work, Ooh. but it's been good. How about you? How has your how has your day and night been going? Take this apple. Nope, did not take that apple. Let me go this way. Oh, yeah! Wow. Oh, yeah, it's like, it's gonna be like winter for y'all, huh? I think I went in the wrong direction. <laughs> did I? Yes, I did. Wow, over here it's hot. It is... It's hot for us. It's like 90... Since it's Fahrenheit, 95? Almost 100? <laughs> old to, to your old exhausted soul. <laughs> I'm actually a little tired too. I had a busy a busy day today. We had a lot of um we were overbooked today and the lines for check-in were just non-stop. Since it's the beginning of summer, kids are getting out of school, they're graduating, going on vacation, maybe school trips, I have no idea, but it's like so so it's getting colder over there, huh? Mm. It's... We don't have a ticketing, so it's like... Um, Check-in is more of like, they already have their... Like, ticket. But... Like, they don't have their boarding pass. So they already have their ticket online and then they go up to our counters and then that's when we make sure they have their documents. And... Um, and that... And, and then like once their documents are cleared, then we give them their boarding passes. So it's like that. But we don't do any ticketing. But there is self-check-in. Like if they turn in all of their documents online, and then they can get their boarding pass that way. And they just drop off their baggage. But it was non-stop. It was like... Ooh, it was, it was just, it was one of those days. It wasn't a bad day, but it was just one of those days. 
and we close our counters at uh, at 2 245 and we still had a long line but the flight came in a little late the crew was delayed a bit so it turned out just fine <laughs> but we had to close the the little the little ropes we had to close those so that people won't come in they're like close the ropes it's 245 close it those are the last passengers that we will see <laughs> and gave them the little the little card that says hey yeah call reservations so you can like change to get your next flight for like later today or tomorrow <laughs> it is oh yeah it is i know for sure especially it's the peak times is like morning a little bit of lunch time also but especially in the evening there will be like traffic especially around like the evening around starting around four to five ish but that's when like we're already like done for the day we're like nope aircraft is in the air already off the clock yay <laughs> but it's like traffic around the airport is just horrible <laughs> So. All right, I gotta go get that blue flame. So it's getting colder where where you're at, Pitchfork. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. We get people who who fly. I know we had like a passenger who would fly back and forth for like a couple of weeks for his job. It's like, it's like one day I'll see him and I'll be like, oh, hey. And then like three days later, I see him again. And I'm like, hey, I thought you went out. And he's like, yeah, I came back. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so he's like back and forth, back and forth. Wow, winter. It's autumn for y'all around this time, man. That is something. I would like to go to the southern, to the southern hemisphere, to just experience that weather change. I think my body would just freak out. We'll be like, "What the heck? You were warm, and now you're like freezing cold." <laughs> I'll be like, "Yes, <laughs> get sick." <laughs> You know, I'm gonna do this a lot during that game. I just... I will make mistakes with my controls. Oh, I don't know if you have heard, but Texas last, last, last year, right? 2021. Yeah, last year. And, okay. Texas weather is crazy, but last year in February, usually January and February are our coldest months. Like it would just be, it would just like really cold. It would just hit us. But last year in February, we had a freeze. Um, and this freeze, it went down all the way to like, it, it snowed a bit, but not like, like, oh, it's like, like, able to make a really good snowman but it's like like they can probably make a small little tiny little makeshift of a weird looking snowman it's that type but it was like 10 degrees and our electric company i ERCOT, i think i have no idea texas has its own compared to the rest of the states there's like a east and a west i believe it broke down and so practically almost all of Texas had no power during that freeze. So like it was horrible. It was it was really horrible. We had no power for like maybe two two days and it was like ten it was it felt it felt like it was close to zero degrees. And it was like maybe 15 degrees outside. Like I remember I went out 
and I was wearing my heavy coats and I had my boots on and I'm like, oh, I just want to step in the snow, walk on the snow. Just for a few seconds, I could not feel my fingers. I was like, I like, like they started to feel, getting to the point of feeling numb and hurting. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna go back inside. So I went back inside and our house is, was kind of like built in the 50s. And so we have, we have a gas stove, which was very helpful. And it's not a big house. It's kind of like a small, smallish house, but not small. And we have a heater that's in my bathroom. And that kind of like really helped us. We had to put like, we had blankets and shower curtains like over the entrance of our front door area. There's like a little, there's like a little entrance where we, we have like, we put our shoes, we take off our shoes and we have like a little piano there. We covered that whole, that area up with just blankets. We slept in the living room. We have a futon. So my parents and I, we slept in the, in the living room. We slept together because if we slept in our separate rooms, it would be too cold. And so we kept those doors closed. And so, yeah, <laughs> that's how we survived. <laughs> no, our house is not wooden. It's a brick house. We have a brick all around, brick, all, brick house all the way around. So, which is nice. I like brick houses. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. A lot of, it's... Yeah, so it's so if you think of Texas, we get heats that can go up to like a hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty degrees in some places in Texas. So, but this cold front that we had last year, it made it almost like practically all the way to the border to Mexico, and it was like, I think. Down in El Paso, I believe. Right? El Paso? No. Right? Yes. Or am I getting all confused? My cat wants to come into this room. She's scratching underneath the door. It was like... I don't know. I need to pause it. I gotta pause the game so it won't get later. It was like maybe 20 degrees. 20, 20 degrees on the... At the borders it was crazy it was it was crazy so and we have never we never had that happen at I know when I was little we had like maybe it was close to like 20 degrees or lower but this time it felt like it was zero so it was it was crazy it was a crazy time a lot of people quite a bit of people did pass away where they should not have but it happened, which is very sad, and so it was a crazy time, so very crazy. So let's see here. It's not, yeah, global warming is, the, that's like clear evidence of global warming right there, where it's like, like your southern states are like, getting to zero degrees, which hardly ever happens, is like crazy. Because I know in the Panhandle up in Lubbock, they can go down really cold. But like everywhere else in Texas to the south, they really should not go. But you know, evidence of global warming. <laughs> oh, I could tell you this for the airport. They're 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 up they're upgrading. I guess you can the way you can say upgrading. They're fixing up the airport. So we're having like a lot of traffic. And my cat she really wants to come in here. But I know if she comes in here, she's going to be jumping around where she should not be jumping around. But um at the gate, it's kind of hot. It's not as hot as it is outside, but at the gate is like, you'll kind of start sweating because they're, they're fixing the, the ceiling. They're going to be changing things in the hallways. 
So it's just a lot. Yeah, revamping. Mm -hmm. It was... Oh, so you used to live in Chicago? Oh! Yeah, people would die from sudden extreme weather changes, yeah. I know because of the... That sudden freeze are the electricity... Aircot, I think, I believe. Like, during the heat, people on the news, they were, like, saying, Oh, Aircot is saying, like, oh, to put your ACs on 78. Because, uh, like, the electricity is straining quite a bit. And I'm like, No, oh, if we have 78 degrees in this house, I will be sweating. And I can't do 78. Like, 73 is, like, we'll put it on 73 when we go to bed. But then when we leave the house, we put it up to 76. Because, you know, we have rain and, and we have our little dog, Peanut, in, in the house. So, and, our, and it's such a small house. So it's like, if you put it on 78, it's going to get hot. That's like 80 degrees for our house. More than 80 degrees in our house. So, and like, if it's like 100 degrees outside and they're telling us to put it on 78... No, our house will feel like it's hotter than that. That's why we, when we're home, we have it at 73. Or like at least maybe 75 so that it will kind of kick in. So, but it's crazy. Oh, yeah. If that power cut was bad, you don't want to come down here. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it was, it was crazy. A lot of people... I know this past February when we were we were close to having some serious freezes again, but not as bad as in last year. People were actually freaking out again. They were like, it was like PTSD all over for quite a lot of people because they were afraid like, oh no, what if the power goes out again? And, and like, like, we have to stay warm. We need to go get the necessities. And so some of the things sold out. Of course, toilet paper. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Toilet paper, <laughs> but it didn't get it didn't get as cold as it was. But of course, like if they're saying like, oh yeah, the power might go out if if y'all don't conserve energy, you got to put on seventy eight degrees during the summer. And I'm like, dude, like we can handle the heat, but like not the older folks. It's like no, you can't do that in Texas. It's like it's like it's like they're telling. Oh, yeah, power goes out. Oops. Oh, my goodness. It's like we're, like, close to Arizona. Arizona would not have that issue. It's like they know better not to have that issue, so. Oh, my gosh, you have routine power cuts? 2.5 hours long can be up to six times. And oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. 2.5 hours. That's quite a... Yeah, that's how long... Like... I know when we had our first power cut, I believe... Like during the freeze, it was kind of like that long. But then we had gotten power back. And then like a couple of hours later, it turned off and didn't turn back on until like two... Almost three days later. It was crazy. Yeah. And the, yes, and the older folks. I'm like, man, it's like, I don't know. It's like in, in the history books, like you can read it in the history books for Texas. It has like all of Texas had probably gotten like close to like zero degrees in history. And it's just like, and the people working there, they're like, oh yeah, that's not going to happen. But it does. If it happened in the history books, it's going to happen again. <laughs> it's like, eh. <laughs> be prepared for it. So, and it's like, Texas can get like up to like 120 degrees in like certain areas. Because, you know, like half of Texas is like a desert. The other half is all nice and lush and green. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so, it's just crazy times. Global warming! Alright. Okay, so we gotta get back into the game. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta do the blue flame. 
As I'm trying to change my weapon here. Here we go. Light it on fire. Light it on fire. Okay. Um. I don't know. Will it go out if I ride the horse? Can't go over there. Yes. Oh my gosh. Mother, La Mother nature is that way. It's like, oh yeah, the weather's not going to get that cold. Like, and then like a couple of weeks later, BAM! <laughs> Crazy cold front. Oh, it's going to start raining again. Darn. We have gotten some crazy weather too. I know we did get a small, a small, tiny cold front that came through. And um, it it felt really good outside. It was like it was like around the 80s for like one or two days, and then after that, it's like hot. <laughs> Thought I could go this way. Wait, can I? Ooh. Yes, you know, that's those moments. There's sheep and cows. Oh my goodness, there's sheep and cows. Look at that cow. And a dog! I just, I was, I got very excited for a few seconds. I'm going in the wrong way. Yeah, you know, I have those moments where I just chat. <laughs> oh, from the... F man. The frozen chunks from the South Pole. Well, like, you get penguins. You get penguins walking around. Which I would love to see. I would love to see a penguin walk around. Instead of it walking around in the in the aquariums or zoos. For us, our cold front comes all the way from Canada. <laughs> well, it's like, you know. Canada, all the way from Alaska, Canada, and it just comes all the way down. That's where that freeze came from. There was like a very dip. There was like a... A very deep dip of a low, a low front. Yeah, low front. And it was, it was crazy. And it's frozen chunk of land at the South Pole. Woo! I did it! <laughs> yeah. I left my horse at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna go get the horse. I just... I don't want nothing happening to the horse. Why? Because Icarus will be upset. <laughs> She'll be like, you lost the horse! i be like, yes, my bad. Icarus had named the horse Splurg. Don't know why. It, she, she just wanted the name. Icarus wanted the name. Hey! They're Splurg. And I can tell you, it's like, I had almost accidentally killed Splurg, like maybe twice, I believe, twice. No. <laughs> I'll be like, oh no. <laughs> uh, I guess we can just go this way. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> yes, I do have to be careful. Every time when I, I'm like running and then I go and try to kill one of the monsters and then I freak out and I run back and they go and hit the horse. If I'm And I'm like, oh dear, I, I almost killed him twice and I felt so sorry for it. I like gave him apples. <laughs> yes, he is. Look at that. He got a nice tushy. <laughs> He's a thick horse, a beautiful horse, as I can't really stop, stop walking. 
like, I can't turn the camera and then walk with him. I can't. Hi, Pelly! Howdy, howdy! How's it going? How's it going, Pelly? You see, you see, I turn the camera and he, he goes like this other way and I just can't walk with him. It's okay, Splurg. Down here. Turn. What? He did not want to go the other way. Maybe because it's the houses? Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know where I need to go. I am horrible at riding a horse. Nope, that's not the way this way. Yes, on a Friday night. I exa it's like I'm walking, I'm walking and I'm trying to turn the camera, but then the horse starts moving in another direction. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't do that. It is like, it just gets confusing. <laughs> Little kid run. Nin, nin, nin. Yes, it's, it is on the switch, so it's, yeah. So I managed to put the blue flame into the furnace. I almost forgot, like, if I had meter to turn or not. Oh, it's almost 4 a.m. All right. All right, Pitchfork. You have a good rest of the night if you're going to be falling asleep. And you have a wonderful tomorrow and have a wonderful good morning. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, catch you on the next time. Catch you next time, Pitchfork. Oh yeah, I, I would try my best not, not to kill Splurg, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I know, it's been some close calls, but yeah. <laughs> so have a good rest of the night and have a wonderful morning, Pitchfork. Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. <laughs> I gave her like so many different voices. Hey, my sweet little guidance stone. <laughs> ah. Have a good night, Pitchfork. I know it's it's hot. And there's rain. <laughs> Talk to you later, Pitchfork. All right. Just give it a snap. Snap. <gasps> Link is like, snap. <laughs> okay. Then she can sleep repair underway. I don't know why I decided to give her a lisp. Guidance stone locked. Removed. Now let's do this thing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving her a lisp. She went through so many different, like, voice... kind of voice changes. <laughs> Camera Hyrule Compendium and Album Missing File Confirmed. Starting Repair. Camera option. Repair complete. 
Got the camera option. Whoop whoop. Her <laughs> laugh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she got that that evil anime laugh. <laughs> Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Componium, album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. She really wants to come into the room. I must take a picture somehow. Snap. No, I did not. One moment. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I... Is this... This is not... <laughs> this is not the picture! It's the scope! <laughs> oh, I accidentally marked this place. Uh, okay. I actually... I'm not too sure... Um, how do we do this? Oh, okay. Ah, I accidentally hit the button. Why, hello there! <laughs> hello. How's it going, Pelly? As I'm trying to figure out how to take a picture of this lady and my cat is like, oh. Oh! Figured it out. Say cheese. Oh, I don't need. I don't need another photo of her. <laughs> How's it going, Pelly? How has your day been going? Rain, rain. Paw. I see her paw. Like right under the door. Oh, at the Zoom? <laughs> yeah, she did say there. Why, hello there. Look, there she is. Hmm. My, who is this beautiful young creature? I am, like, so tempted to open the door to bring Rain in, but then she'll... Rain has jumped on my chair. And I have, like... Quite a few scratch marks like like she wouldn't jump on my lap she would jump on the back of the chair and i have a and i have a a computer chair and oh, gaming chair computer chair gaming chair and so there's some little holes on it and i'm like very sad about it so yay you cleaned up and oh you went home for the weekend oh it's so nice there is also some old landscape photos stored in the album. So you went... So are you going to go see your parents? Gonna go visit your parents? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, every rune I, pr I press L. I know. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Oh, well, that's interesting. I was, I thought, oh, okay. Hannah, for some reason, and uh, Pelly, you're like the same color for me. You're both orange, and I don't know why. I don't know if I could fix that. Can I fix it? Did I fix the color? I cannot. Mm. I'm doing good. 
it's been a it's been a busy it's been a busy day, Pelly. Uh, we were um, over overbooked for our flight, but it's it was a good day. It was quite busy. So. Oh, it's actually green for you. Huh. It is green. Huh, but on here for me, for some reason, it's orange on the computer. But on my phone, it is green. Don't know why. Don't know why it decided to do that. That's okay. Look. Your splurg. And I need to go and see. Okay. Yes, it has because it's like it's the it's summer and school is like I think maybe already o almost over and so there's kids graduating there's they're going on trips with their family or maybe there's like some sc like school trips after during the summer so yeah so it was like a f oh, we had like a lines non-stop it was like non-stop for for our check-in line so it was crazy and and because of that, we had to close, uh, like, the little ropes. Uh, we had to close the, the rope entrance for economy, business, first class, and uh, online check-ins. We had to close those at exactly at 2.45 because we can't take any more people. <laughs> but yeah, it, almost every flight has been overbooked. Mm -hmm. So, and it's probably going to be the same tomorrow. I forgot where I need to go. I'm just gonna follow that little. Oh wait, but I marked. Hold on. Momento. Okay, no. Okay, it's not there. Okay, I don't think it's there. Okay, I know. Oh, I gotta go all the way over there. I was about to say, can I teleport? But if I travel over there, my horse won't be there. Right? And I don't want that. I need my horse. Right? Hana? Right? If I were to teleport, the horse won't be there, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is, there is a blah, 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 blah. There's a shrine. <laughs> It's just a hi Just jump right off of that horse. I want to mark that as I walk with... <laughs> as it being zoomed in. Woo! That's why... You, oh, so you don't really take your horse. So you just walk on foot. You're like, walk, 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 walk. Ah, uh, that's true. Oof. Uh, okay, so that one is there. I not done that? I guess I didn't. Okay, I gotta go to... Go... Mm, gotta go back to the village. What time is it? 8.44. Uh, let's see. It's so funny how for this quest with the blue fire, it feels like it rains more often than it should. But I managed to do it. <laughs> I managed to, to turn in the fire. Of course I didn't manage to turn on and all turn on all the lamps. But that'll be for another day. If I remember. Oh, and there's a house that's for sale here. And it will cost three thousand rupees and I 
I forgot how many wood pieces, how many bundles of wood it wants. They want. So. Oh, am I get a house? Don't know when. <laughs> in game only, not in real life. I wish it was in real life. <laughs> and you know, houses cost a lot of money. Yeah, so the horse won't be, yeah. That's what I think so too, because I think I would just be the one. This guy just turned around and be like, huh? <laughs> like, dude, like, you do that to every villager that leaves your, that leaves their home? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I think. So, like, if I were to travel, fast travel to one of the shrines, the horse will be left behind. I had gotten my first blood moon, and all the monsters responded again. Run! How's your day been going, Hannah? I don't think I have asked you just yet. How has your day been going? Did he just spawn there? Because I did not see him. has been meowing throughout almost throughout the entire stream you had a long day today oh what did you do It is scary to run through this. Like, I don't even know. Are you serious, my dude? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I missed. Right here. Stop. Oof. I have no good weapons. <laughs> Uncivil rest. Just be prepared. Yeah, like, 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 almost like an emergency kit. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it's good to have an an um, goodness, and an emergency kit for when things such as that happens. I have a hammer. Smack him. Smack him. I have another hammer. I have another hammer. Smack him. Oh, I gotta get the head. Yes, I know. I gotta use up the bad weapons. But it's like... Most of my weapons are kind of like not the greatest weapons. <laughs> I'm like... Mm, I have a pitchfork and I have a farmer's hoe and another one and a buckle club. <laughs> okay. Look at the slime! Okay, where's my horse? I did save the guy, right? Yeah, I did. A surprise! Oh, come and get me, come and get me. I know how to block. Come on. I just jumped 
up that just blocked him. <laughs> just gonna smack him. Woo, another club. <laughs> I jumped up and just blocked his hit. He's like, whoop, bonk. <laughs> Dude on a horse. Trying to get to the... Excuse me? There's been a couple of times where the horse decided to just stop all of a sudden, especially if there's like a little rock in front of him. And I'm like, you could have just jumped over that. <laughs> I'm like, you could have just jumped over it. <laughs> it would have been fine. <laughs> Pelly, I kind of had like the same, the same, but I'm like, yeah, no, she's talking about use up the weapons for the game. <laughs> I know, I kind of misread it too. And I'm like, wait, that doesn't make sense. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I got to use the bad weapons in the game, such as the the club and some of the other ones that I will not use. <laughs> I'm like, man, I need to get some good weapons. I have like no weapon at all. I have no swords. Can I run over the... I did run over some small birds. <laughs> they would drop seeds and I don't want that. Look at the clouds. I was about to say, is it gonna rain? And I look in the little weather area and it's gonna rain. <laughs> and I'm like, well. <laughs> You see, this is what happens if I were to look away from where I'm, where I'm going. And then I, the horse gets stuck in some place. Or goes in the wrong direction. Crash into the lovely lady. Almost running her over. Only you can jog just a tiny bit faster, but okay. I'm in the village. Nana. Nah. When you hear a rooster crow, that means it's wake up time. But it's not. Oh, it is. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> I thought it was night or getting dark. It wasn't. It was eight o'clock in the morning. That's why the rooster crowed. Cause it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Hello, good sir. Hello, Impa. Dang. I don't, like, how on earth can they, he, like, win? <laughs> And how, like, I came straight from the other village, and yet she already heard about the news. Like, how can they get here before me? <laughs> or get the news before me? Oh, my cat. She knocked something down. Yay! I completed a quest. Ooh. The camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. So that means she used the Sheikah Slate. Could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to 
At least one of those locations. There is something I wish to give to you. That's all she wanted to say. Open sesame. Okay. Uh, right. One second. My cat is... I hear her. I think she's probably wanting to cause some trouble. One second. I'll be right back. All right, I think she mostly just wanted to eat. So. Wrong button. <laughs> I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> okay, so anyways, this is kind of like the end of the stream. And I will tell you this for sure, next Friday, I actually want to add this apple. I have an apple, hold on. Next Friday, I am actually thinking about playing two games. That worked. Uh, two games. So that would be, I think I'll be playing Legend of Zelda and then maybe, and maybe Pokemon. Pokemon. Brilliant Diamond. I believe that's what I have been streaming previously. I have, I have like the three or two streams on YouTube. If you want to catch up and watch it, you can watch it on my YouTube channel. So, and um, I'm gonna put an apple here. So I believe that's what I will that I'm thinking about doing. Next Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Now I'm going to take all of the apples. <laughs> Just take all the apples. Go oh, in the shrine. Okay, this will be the last thing. Okay. Spirit orb. I need stamina. I would like to get another heart, but I need stamina. <laughs> I'm like, oof. I had some close calls when I was climbing that tower last time, and I almost fell. <laughs> so that would have been bad. Yay! Got me stamina. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Woo! Chicken. Up the chicken, and I can throw the chicken. Darn, I wanted to hit the guy. Okay. <laughs> Smack him with the chicken. Ba -bum. <laughs> Anyways. Alrighty, guys. I want to thank y'all for watching and for being here and supporting my channel. Thank you, Pitchfork, Hannah, and Pelly for joining in. And, um... Somebody running in front of me? Are those moths? Okay, I got distracted. <laughs> 
Anyways, I want to thank y'all for being here. I love every single one of y'all. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful good night. And sleep well. And have a safe night. Yeah. So thank y'all for being here. And, support, and supporting my channel. I, I repeat these things so many times. And um, if you're new to this channel and watching, um, go ahead and hit the follow button. And hit that bell icon so that you can get notified when I am live. So yeah. <laughs> you too, Hana. Have a have a have a good night. You too, Pelly. Have a wonderful good night. Love y'all. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>